So a very good morning and welcome along. Well, it's not the end of the day wrap today because with all the rain and no internet and all sorts of drama going on for the first day of the grand final yesterday, we didn't get to summit all up last night and I had lots and lots of messages. So instead of a walking and talking one, we're in a taxi. We're on the way to the ground to get there for about 8 a.m. and see what the state of the ground will be like and see if we're going to be able to start immediately. Firstly, let's clear one thing up. The game will resume. It will continue. I know we've had lots of messages from people worried about does it restart? Do UAE get to go out and bat again? They do not. The way it works is we resume a full 50 overs per side game this morning. How's the weather? Well, let's take a bit of a look if we flip this camera around. To me, it looks pretty good I think hopefully and I only say hopefully because we're only on the way there as we come back to me I think we should be all right in terms of starting on time if the ground staff the curator he's a miracle worker he reckoned he needed about 90 minutes last night to clean everything up maybe two hours he'll have got that I know he'll be up since very early to get things going now what about the performance well Nepal were simply exceptional UAE they were rattled from early in fact, their captain, Mohammed Wazim, he just seemed a little bit on edge from the morning. Maybe the occasion, the pressure, losing that toss, I don't think he was happy with that. It was a massive toss to lose. And Nepal, they needed to take advantage. The first three overs, they went UAE's way, but Wazim was playing a shot of ball. And then Sampal Kami and Karen Casey, they got the two big wickets. Wazim was gone, thanks to a spectacular catch from Lalit Rajbanchi. And then shortly after that, Viridia Aravan caught behind by Asif Sheikh. So it was all Nepal to start with, but whilst Asif Khan was there, there was still a contest on, a game on in a big way. And he was looking so, so good. He got after Sandeep Lamachani a little bit, but Lamachani struck back, picked up a couple of big wickets. And then Lalit Rajbanchi, what a time he's having since he's come back to the international team. Sensational. I think he's got three for five overnight. He's on a hat-trick. The first ball back, he could complete a hat-trick. Let's just hope we can start and finish this game this morning. The atmosphere, electrifying every single person i met around the ground which was thousands yesterday they were just so passionate so kind and they just love nepali cricket some people told me this wouldn't just be the biggest thing in nepali cricket or nepali sporting history this would be one of the biggest things in the country's history should they complete victory today and go on to play against india and pakistan in september in the asia cup they've done all the hard work can they finish the job if it is a little bit overcast i'm just looking out which it is it's not going to be easy batting conditions even if they pick up that 10th and final wicket quite quickly which you'd expect they'll hopefully do a chase of 120 it could be a little bit tricky it's an outstanding bowling attack that the uae have ayan khan has 12 wickets junaid sadiq and zahor khan as well will come hard at nepal in a big way if they pick up a couple of early wickets they get the two openers there could be a wobble and there could be nerves in the crowd good news is khan and the acc have come together to make it free in for the final uh, match or sorry the reserve day of the final and over the next two or three hours hopefully the rain won't intervene and we're going to find out who the grand champions are i better get there match is about to start hopefully this video will upload fingers crossed some internet works thanks so much for all the kind comments and we are in for a finish today whatever happens final point if it does somehow rain the entire day and we can't get back out there nepal will qualify as the top seeds but i think from looking around namaste i think we're going to end up having play and hopefully having play right away if the curator has worked miracles again thanks for now i'll see you later